Oh man, okay, I'm gonna just start melting here, so I better start filming. It is freaking hot, and that sun is going ding right into my eyeball. Guys, Johnny Nerd out here, got another custom e-bike build for you. This is gonna be within the top of a very short list for many, many people. I've done other bikes like this, but this one is a slightly different one. If you're new to the channel, I'm Johnny Nerd out. I make e-bikes, I'm a e-bike enthusiast. If you're into anything e-bike related, check out my other videos. Subscribe, hit that ding bell, ding the bell, make the bell ding you. Do whatever dinging and bell combination you find fit. If you have children, you know, make it appropriate for them. This is the Trek Roscoe 6. This is a very nice bike. Look at these bike, look at these tires. These things are freaking sweet. 27 and a half by three inches. These are like mid fat. So you get the benefits of having just a standard mountain bike tire, but you also kind of get the benefits of having a fat bike tire. This is gonna be good in light snow, loose gravel, things like that. A lot of people, I talk to a lot of people and they're always like, I'm gonna be going out into the woods and I want something, I want a fat bike. And I'm like, okay, well, it's gonna be a lot more expensive if you get a fat bike versus if you get a high quality mountain bike like this that still has, you know, 75% of the benefits of having a fat bike. Except this is gonna handle way better when you're not in snow or in loose sand. When you're on the pavement, this handles really nice. A lot of that has to do with the, the forks. These are really nice forks. These are the Suntour XCMs. I don't know, for a while I was like a bias, I was only rock shocks, but these are really good shocks. These don't bottom out when you're going over rough stuff. These are a little bit higher end Suntours. So it just makes everything feel nice. Uh, it's got a dropper seat post on it. We upgraded it, put a Planet Bike saddle on it uh, with a spring saddle. So this is like a comfort mountain bike. Yeah, it's got hydraulic disc brakes, Shimano disc brakes. So we put hydraulic disc brake sensors on it. You just glue magnets pretty much on your brake levers. And when you hit the brakes, it senses that those magnets are falling apart and boom, cuts power to the motor. You don't need it, but it's definitely like a safety thing. It's like, man, might as well put them on. If you don't, you don't need it, but I like to have it. Uh, put a gear shift sensor on it, just cuts power while you're shifting gears, so you're not doing too much damage to your chain and your drivetrain. Put a integrated headlight on it, still got the wrapper on it, because I'm gonna ship this out. So it's got an integrated headlight that's powered off of the battery, controlled by the display. Just press and hold the plus button for like two seconds and it turns on the light. Oh, we also put in the Tannis tire inserts in these. So it's like maybe like a quarter to a half inch of foam. So you could ride through, like here in Utah, we got goat heads. If you have anything with like thorns or anything, it's not gonna go all the way through to your tube. You're gonna, it's gonna go in, but that foam is gonna protect it. And hopefully you'll see it and just pull it out. And it works great. I love it. I use it in my bike. I rarely get flat tires. It's got the Rocket Ron tires. These are really great. They're semi-aggressive tread pattern. So this is gonna be good for trail riding and even a commuter. You could put a rack on it, it's got rack mounts. So you could turn this into a commuter and still confidently take this thing off road into the trails. And this would be a blast. You could ride it to the trails, ride around the trails and then ride it home. That's why this bike is freaking sweet. So we went with the BBS HD motor. It's a 68 millimeter bottom bracket size. So this will take a standard one. You could even put a BBS 02 motor on it if you want. Uh, we went with a 52 volt, 17 and a half amp hour battery. And we put a Lecky 36 tooth on this. So this thing is gonna be awesome for hill climbing. Crazy hill climbing. Oh, and it's got like, what does it have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's got a 10 speed, but check out this giant pancake gear. I think it's a 44 tooth. So it's literally less than a one by one gear ratio. So yeah, hill climbing is insane. And I'll show you now, we'll go do a Johnny Nerd Out test where we show hill climbing with a running start from a standstill and top speed. Let's go check it out. Yeah, so you can see hill climbing, absolutely not a problem. That was like a 25% grade, 30% grade, I don't know. Uh, top speed, that was, that was a new record for a Bafang. That was 40 miles an hour, but that should have an asterisk. Asterisk? Those are two, do two totally different things. Um, the wind, we're getting whist gusty wind, windy gusts going on right now. So I definitely had the wind at my back. So without any wind, this would be more like 36 miles an hour, I'm guessing. But that was 
plenty fast. I felt like it was going a little bit faster. Okay, so this build was about $1,700, including everything you see here with the Tannis inserts, the saddle, light, um, without, without labor. So just to kind of give you an idea, if you're thinking about doing a build like this, you could get these bikes and then add in like another, you know, if you wanted this set up, obviously you could save some money if you don't want the saddle and the tent inserts, that would easily save you a hundred bucks right there. But yeah, so you could easily do it yourself and have a killer e-bike. Like this thing is amazing. This is probably the Trek Roscoe, I would say is one of my top five, it's definitely top 10 uh, e-bike builds that I would recommend people do, especially with the 27 and a half by three inch tires. I feel like that just checks so many people's boxes and the hardtail, you get the giant frame, you can put a big battery in it, you can put a rack on this, put panniers on it, put a trailer on this. This bike is totally customizable to, to meet almost 90% of people's needs. It's got the dropper seat post here. I don't know what else you want. Now you're just getting greedy if you want more than this, because this is, man, freaking awesome. So, all right, hopefully this helped you guys. Later.